Hey, this is Brooks Wackerman from Event Sevenfold. Let's break down some drum parts. It's great Yo, to have you here, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Appreciate boom. it. We're backstage right before the show here in Vancouver, so let's go to the kit and let's okay. talk about some parts. This one has some like double bass roughs in the intro. Yeah. Uh, Here we go. So to me, those are just like, you know, what Bozio was doing with missing persons, like yeah. feet mimicking the hands, you mm. know. So um, growing up, I, I mean, Terry is one of my drumming heroes. So yeah. like once I heard Jimmy do, do that, I'm like, it's like, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Good. I'm glad, you know. Do you know if Jimmy was a, a Bozio fan? He was a Zappa fan. Okay. Yeah. So I, I'm sure Bozio was, was, uh, Definitely one of his dudes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I I heard he used to play the Black Page, and uh, but yeah, definitely a musical Jeez. genius. Obviously, you come from a family that there's a lot of music and music history. There's a lot of noise. Uh, there's a lot yeah. of noise in in the house. I can imagine. <laughs> What's that like when you grow up with brothers who play drums? And did your dad play drums as well? Yeah, my dad was a. Uh, music educator for 60 years and wow. drums uh, was his main instrument. So what was that like even growing up and was there stuff you learned when you were younger that prepared you for this gig? Um, sure, everything did. Um, all the bands that I played in prior to, you know, all my professional gigs prepared me for what I'm doing now and my studies with um, Murray Spivak, the classical snare drum teacher that I took for six years, Chuck Flory's jazz independence uh, teacher. You know, even though I discovered rock, metal, punk by myself, their techniques mm. and how I implement the finesse into um, the style of music really made a difference and, yeah. and you know, I'm not screaming in pain after a two and a half hours show. I, I can hit the drum hard enough, but not too hard where it's gonna choke the drum. Yeah. And if I am playing too hard, I'm aware of it because of my musical education with those Yodas. It's cool from your perspective coming in from like an educated background mm -hmm. and how you can still thrive in a setting like that and approach it with that kind of background. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I look at drummers like, you know, Jimmy Chamberlain, mm -hmm. who, you know, comes from a jazz background, yet, you know, he plays with the Pumpkins yeah. and lays into it. Or even Josh Freeze, who's, you know, hitting very hard in, in the <laughs> Foo Fighters, but yeah. he has this finesse about him where, you know, yeah, he's he's playing rock and roll, but it just, it feels good, yeah. you know? It's, it's kind of this, I don't know, sexiness to their playing that, yeah. that I've always been attracted to.